Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the new Project One from Mercedes, their new hypercar. So let's go ahead, let's get this bad boy started up. I gotta go to work, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it on my drive to work. Let's get into this video. First thing I want to talk about is the looks of the car. I think, I mean, the car looks amazing. Uh, most hypercars do. Uh, this thing looks stunning. Something I'm going to get into a little bit later in the video is the very first thing I did think of, to be honest, is the car looks like a McLaren F1 from the front at minimum. Like a lot, actually. So we're going we're gonna to dig into that a little bit later in the video, but the car is absolutely stunning looking. Uh, it's got crazy looking diffusers, it's got crazy looking, you know, crazy looking, I don't know, like fin, I guess? I don't even know what the proper racing terminology is for that piece that I think they had on their uh, CLK uh, supercar. Um, and Mercedes doesn't come out with like, a lot of these things, to be honest with you. I know that this is with McLaren, which kind of ties into where I'm going with this video. Um, but let's talk a little bit about this car first. So let's go over the specs real quick on this car. We're talking about a 1.6 liter turbocharged hybrid power plant with I believe four batteries. We're talking about over a thousand horsepower, a top speed over 217 miles an hour. We're talking about, this is the big one for me anyway, I love this, 11,000 RPM redline. That's 11,000 RPM redline. Usually that's the conversation we're having with bikes, not cars. So I want to put that in perspective for you guys just in case you're not familiar. Uh, a car that was released not that long ago that was like blew me away was the Shelby 350 because that's like a little over 8,500, I think close to 9,000 RPM redline, which is like a Mustang that was ridiculous. So I want to put that in perspective to you. That's 11,000. That's insane. This thing's, this thing's just going to sound amazing. I'm not like a big six cylinder guy, although I have a super. Anyway, as far as like exotics or anyway, I'm not like a big six cylinder guy, but this should sound, anything to me revving at 5,000 RPM should sound stunning. Uh, the Something that's actually more staggering than 11,000 RPM is it's 2 point, I think 7 or almost 2.8 million dollar price tag. But in my opinion, if you have money, I feel like that's going to be a really good investment. I mean, we've already seen cars at a much lesser price, P1, the Ferrari, and they skyrocketed in value. So, I... I it must be nice to be like rich, and I mean rich by the way, I'm not talking like, you know, you have a nice house, nice car, and whatever, I'm talking like, this is like, elite rich. It must be nice, because you're going to scoop up this beautiful looking car, that looks like a McLaren F1 by the way, if I'd already mentioned that, um, and you're going to know damn well it's going to go up in value. I can't do that, you know? <laughs> so that that's pretty cool. So, let's get into, I want to talk a little bit about... McLaren for a second. We keep mentioning them in this conversation. Let's talk about the first interesting point of view. They call this the Project One. Now, how does that relate to McLaren here? So Project One, I don't know, P1? Just, just a little bit, right? The other second interesting fact um, is that we all know that the P1's top speed is 217 miles an hour, and we already know that their projections to go faster than 217 miles. I already kind of discussed, and I, I this is the first thing I thought of way before I watched Parker's video, that it looks like the F1, like, a lot. So, and we know that McLaren's working on, like, a F1 type of car that's going to be coming out as well. So that's going to be very interesting. Um, so, you know, what's the history here? So, we do, as you do, as you do know, McLaren and Mercedes had the SLR. So they have worked together before. Let's get into some of the things I want to talk about as far as McLaren and Mercedes. And this is where I got a lot of it from Parker at Vehicle Virgins. So credit goes out to him. I don't know if he took it from somebody else, but I'm taking it from him. I'm a small channel. He's a big channel. So whatever. No big deal. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the points he brought up, or at least that he brought up in his video. So let's talk about the dynamics between Mercedes and McLaren. Some points that Parker brought up in his video that I thought were very interesting. I'd like to share with you guys. So, I don't follow F1, but according to Parker, 
McLaren had a very successful F1 career when they were working with Mercedes. Something happened, they no longer was working with Mercedes as far as building engines for the F1 cars. Now they have Honda building F1 engines. And apparently they're not doing so well. So they went back to Mercedes trying to talk them into making engines again. Apparently the engine is now found in the Project 1. Let's call it a P1. <laughs> Good job, Mercedes. Um, and Mercedes said no. So now apparently McLaren is now scrambling around even going to like Ferrari trying to get an F1 engine built. Ferrari said no, which makes sense. They're very competitive. So moving away from that, I think McLaren just needs to build their own F1 engines. I mean, as far as I know, they kind of took off the ground running with the F1, which was a BMW powered engine. But now they're kind of doing everything on their own, so why not do your own F1 engine? Maybe there's something I'm missing there. On to the next topic. I'm curious where all the cars are going now, too, because, you know, with the Ford GT that just came out, that's also a six-cylinder, much bigger six-cylinder, not necessarily an F1-driven six-cylinder, but this is now the next hypercar. It's a six-cylinder. Um, you know, we're usually talking eight, ten, twelve-cylinder hypercars, usually. All right, guys, now that we kind of know the drama between McLaren and Mercedes, we know that this is going to be a small six-cylinder engine, 1.6-liter turbocharged with some batteries strapped to it, over 1,000 horsepower, over 217 miles an hour, 11,000 RPM red line, crazy price tag, although we already kind of discussed how it's really not as far as what the car is going to be valued at. Um, that kind of wraps up my video for today. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to go into work. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please make sure to hit that like button. You know it's a big deal for YouTubers. If you want to see more videos like that, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Take it easy. I'm out. All right, guys, so now we know that the car is a 1.6 liter turbo. Five, five, um, what are you doing, dude? Is... Sorry, it's, it's hard to do these videos.